Oh boy. Here we go again. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from its slab began to rise. And suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did okay, what am I talking about here? Um, I just got done watching an LTT video. And, yeah, it's misleading again. Uh, he's not wrong. But he's not right either. Um, he took a press release straight from Mentel and took it as gospel and ran with it. He didn't bother fact-checking him, doing his own due diligence, and adequately providing proper information for his watchers. Again. Anywho, here's a short clip of what he said. Intel also made a good case for not using Arc on Linux for the foreseeable future. Sorry guys, I know that you had high hopes, but currently, Arc only supports kernel version 6, and Intel has said that they do not plan on supporting version 5, meaning that every stable version of Linux is currently not supported. To put this in perspective for the non-Linux folks out there, this is basically like Intel launching a product, but only having drivers for Windows 12. Oh. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is that there are both 16 gig and 8 gig versions of the A770, but the reason- Okay, where he got it right. Yes, <clears throat> excuse me, yes, they upstreamed it to the 6.0 kernel. Are Linux users, the rest of the Linux users shit out of luck? No. Distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, Pop! OS, Mint can take the 6.0 kernel and backport it to any 5 dot whatever kernel they are using. See, there's no difference between the 6.0 kernel except for being updated than any 5, 5 dot whatever kernel. That's where he's got it wrong, that's where it's misleading, and that's where they need to do their own due diligence in. They need to talk to people that actually know a thing or two about the kernel and actual Linux programming in general, actually. Um, see, the only difference between, the only, okay, let me, what Linus Trivaldis did is he jumped to the 6.0 line of numbering. He does not like large numbers. It was slated to be 5.20, which is in the same line as the 5 kernel. That's the only thing. That's the only difference. So every time Intel upstreams their drivers to 6.0 and updates it, it's going to go back down the kernel line and everybody's going to be able to use it. And case in point, you can either install the 6.0 kernel, 6.0 kernel, God, I can't not talk today. This is a 6.0 kernel into your operating system or wait until it's backported. That's it. You'll be able to go buy the Arc GPU and run it just as easily as if you'd gotten the 6.0 kernel. Anywho, I got some screenshots, a couple of things, my post to it, which adequately explains it better. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, hopefully it was informational. Um, I just am getting kind of tired of these channels misleading everybody all the time. I wish they would, when they had an idea, about something that they would actually do the research instead of just repeating garbage and I'm kind of coming across like an a-hole but I don't that's not my intent I'm just it's hard to get people well informed when the people are trying to inform people aren't well informed themselves that's that's my whole thing and it's frustrating and I'm getting tired of it
And that's one of the whole reasons why I started this channel. And I know I've been on a uh, um, gaming kick lately, but I plan on getting more videos like this done. So people can be more informed, make, make better decisions if they're uh, new, new to Linux themselves, because, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, like I said, hopefully this was informational, and I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if I came across like an asshole, but like I said, I'm getting kind of up to here with it. Y'all take it easy, stay safe, and don't believe all the crap you see. <laughs> Research it, please. Okay, Future Steve here. I overlooked something. The three things you're definitely going to need to make the RGPU work is, one, the 6.0 kernel backported through or the 6.0 kernel itself. Up-to-date Mesa drivers, Mesa program, and to utilize the full potential of the RGPU, Intel 10th generation or newer. I figured I'd put that out because I forgot about it and I didn't put it in my original. So, anywho, take it easy, have fun. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It was all in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Oh.